about 15. Thank <laughs> you for saying that. That's why he's got an E for a middle initial. Yes, George E for eat. That's right. That's what we now know. Hey, listen, Stevie, thanks for calling in. Thanks, Thank you, gonna... and remember the good motto, think of that every day. We will. We do. We have another Many more call. years on the airwaves, Dora. You've added a lot to WRMN and to our community. Thank you so much for saying that. Okay, dear. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Am I wrong, dear? Does Steve sound like he was on a golf cart? Or he drinking. sounded like he was on a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> drinking on a golf cart. Oh, yeah. He's listening to yeah. you. Don't say that. <laughs> 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 Back on the air, 847 9 Hello. Hello. I just wanted to call and tell Laura happy anniversary. I'm glad you came to Elgin, and this is your skinniest, biggest loser. Oh, <laughs> let me think now, Karnak. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Lisa Eby, thank you for calling. You're one of my You're favorite welcome. biggest losers. You're one of my most successful biggest losers. And I'll, also you and Julie Belanger and now Valerie Swan, you're my right hands. And I could not do Elgin's Biggest Loser without you. And you know well, that. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll take you out for congratulations, Malted, <laughs> after December 8th, our last weigh-in. Okay, good. She okay. a heck of a Bye. black cow. I know. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We'll see you later, Thanks. Lisa. Yeah, bye-bye. We can go to Al's Cafe after this. Do we have another call? Not yet. Okay, cool. Listen, it's halftime. It is. Halftime means that uh, the girls come out dancing. Oh, or also mm -hmm. we read a commercial. Is that what you're telling me? That's it. Dr. Claire Leos. We were thinking about her. Of course, she sent some nice flowers. Dr. Claire Leos is a wonderful doctor of chiropractic and can take mm -hmm. care of all the <clears throat> Medicare patients and the insurance folks out there. So Dr. Claire's office is conveniently located on Elgin's West Side, 2001 Larkin Avenue in the Associated Bank Building. Call 847-888-9988. That is Dr. Claire Oleas for that information. Of course, also, you've got big doings going on this uh, very time, as we uh, heard earlier at the Y, do you not? You were telling us all the good things going on. Swim lesson sign up is open for all ages. And you know something tonight, else? Tonight. Tonight at 6 p.m. there will be a speaker giving an informational talk about the next year's Women's Wellness Week. She'll be able to answer any of your questions about it and hopefully do some brainstorming with the audience as to what our community is looking for in the way of spending a week or a weekend at a wellness retreat at Wise Camp Ed. And for you guys who don't know about Camp Edwards and this Wellness Week, I have to tell you, it is just fabulous. And and I'm going to try and make it, and I think they hold it in June. But the Y is offering everyone in attendance free snacks and giveaways, and the giveaways are great because non-members who participate tonight receive uh, five free group exercise classes, and the members receive a month of free group exercise classes, wow. and that and that that alone would make me come. You went to the camp last year, didn't you? Oh yeah. Well, we went to the camp. I didn't. I wasn't able to go to the wellness week, but I went to. Uh, we took the Elgin's Biggest Losers there. For was fabulous. I guess my invite to the mail. Taylor of YMC, of course, at 50 North McLean, 888-7410 is the phone number. Is it not 847 Erico? I think so, but I want to say don't be, jy uh, don't be shy. <laughs> Jump right into some <laughs> new exciting things at the Taylor Y. You like that slogan? That's very nice. We say it every week. That's I made nice. it up. Excellent. Don't is be it, shy. And don't be a butterfly. Very nice. And you know something? I really have to give credit where credit is due um, in this regard. I would not be able to have Elgin's Biggest Loser and be su as successful as I am with it if it weren't for your graciousness in hosting us and giving all the Elgin's the Biggest Loser. Yeah. 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 Letting us come every Wednesday night and do the weigh-in and everybody helps us and just they're always so wonderful and welcoming and happy to see us and everything just, I mean, you just make us feel right at home. And also they donate... Uh, for each Elgin's Biggest Loser participant for the duration of the contest, the Y generously donates a membership for the duration of the contest. So you'd be nuts not to come to Elgin's Biggest Loser, and you'd be double nuts not to sign up and join the Y after it's over when you yeah, see what how good show. belonging to the Y does and Elgin's Biggest Loser does for you. Laura, we have a special guest waiting to wish you a happy okay. anniversary. I'm going to bring in that person? special guest into the uh, studio. Oh, you're kidding. Do I have to close my eyes? It is your anniversary, after all, you know? Uh-huh. We also got a couple of people on, on, on hold right now on the phone lines as well. Good. So. We have 20 more minutes. Mrs. Yes. Yes. Mrs. Illinois, Lori, Faith, Gibson, Aiello. Oh, my God! Yeah. Yeah. So Did you bring excited. your tiara? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come sit down. You know something? 
Lori Faith, um, when she was on the show, I forgot when you were on the show, but you were on the show. Yeah, like twice. Yeah, and it's she brought her Miss, Mrs. Oh, Illinois uh, <laughs> tiara for us, and there, I understand that you posted a picture on Facebook of Jeff Myers as Mrs. Illinois with the tiara <laughs> and sash. She was graciously uh, posing in it, and this might even be the same shirt that yeah, she was very nice. I'm only as good as my props. <laughs> <laughs> One of the highlights of WRMN 2010 will be the oh. singing of the Mary Tyler Moore theme song with oh, Jeff no. Myers and Laurie Faith Gibson Aiello. You want us to do it again? I it was still famous, know live remote. <laughs> Who can turn the world on with her I smile? I just do the motions. I think yeah. I can't demonstrate. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. That's what the camera There is some video of that too. Oh, great. For those of you who don't know, Laurie is a fabulous, fabulous vocalist. I mean, tremendously talented. You might induce her to uh, do yeah, something now. What do you feel like mood. singing? Are you in the mood to sing us a couple of bars something or something? Something from Beth would be good. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, I, I did bring a song. Oh. <gasps> Just wonderful. happened to have brought a song. It's, right. it's a little silly. It's an oldie but a goodie. Okay. And I'm going to try to sing it serious, and then maybe if you guys know the words, you can join in. Oh, Jeff will join in. Oh, no. I'm too shy. Jeff, shy? Oh, put me sing. on the no. spot. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where's the pitch? Yeah. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Pour a cheerful toast and fill it, happy anniversary. But be careful you don't spill it, happy anniversary. We now stayed empathically, it's such a happy anniversary. Not another day could be such a happy anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. You ain't right. Thank you so much for showing up. What a surprise. I did bring you a mascot for your next year because you've been so nice to all our zoo efforts. So this is our lovey lion for Lord Spark. Oh, you're kidding. From the zoo. So yeah, now you have a little mascot you can carry on. Thank you. Nice. We will bring him in the studio with us all the time. She, um, Lori Faith, I wanted, when she came, when she was on my show at the time and she brought her official tiara, it was just so fabulous and gorgeous that I decided I had to have one of my own. And she hooked me up with the tiara suppliers in Hong Kong. Yes. And I did order part. one and then I put it in a safe place. <laughs> And I couldn't find it today. I'm going to wear it for my anniversary show. Yeah, except 23 every day would take care of that. <laughs> well, you know something? Here's what also, too, what what our every week's winner from Elgin's Biggest, Lo Biggest Loser, the top ten, well, every week the number one mm -hmm. person, they have all want to wear the tiara. Oh, so, very good. But I can't find it. And today the girl who's in first place, I want to shoot myself because she really is so tiara. She just so deserves a tiara. Oh. But thank you for coming. Thank you for my mascot. And thank you for your support. And we have a couple phone calls, they tell me. Thank you there for you your go. song. Good job. Yeah. No Good problem. 847 931 Uh Let's go to the phone lines here and say hello. Good afternoon to you. Hi. Hello. It's Jessica from the South Side. Oh, no. Oh, Colleen, I wish you a happy anniversary. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm surprised. How'd you get my number? Our How call I get number. your number? Yeah. Um, off the air. Off we the only air. give it out every 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Please call us with your questions and your dilemmas. It's wonderful to hear from you. You know what this girl did? She shaved her head. Uh -oh. oh, you're so Tell them. For the cancer? I shaved my head for St. Baldrick's. It's a national organization that helps provide grants for pediatric cancer research. And she shaved her head, and she is like Lori Faith's twin sister. Oh, thanks. Thank oh. you. I raised $17,000, so it was pretty cool. It took a lot of guts, girlfriend, because you had some oh. long blonde hair. But thank you for calling, and maybe I'll see you Sunday for coffee. Okay, I hope so. Thanks. Have a great day and great show. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. We'll go back to the phone lines, 847 1410 Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Laura. This is Shelly Joan and Laura from Little Angels oh calling to say happy anniversary. 
Hi, you guys. These are my, these are my, some of my fabulous Elgin's Biggest Losers, and they have a team from Little Angels, and thank you guys for calling. Are you all showing up tonight? Uh, two out of the three. Well, two out of the three that are talking to you right now, but the rest of them, I'm sure, will be there. Good. I hope they'll be downtown. I want to know who's number one tonight on the board. Can I tell you? Yeah. Carlotta. Aha. Uh -huh. Mitchell. Carlotta Mitchell. All right, Carlotta. She is going to just faint. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because she hasn't eaten for two days. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, girls, thanks for calling. I hope to see you guys tonight. You bet. We'll see you soon. Congratulations. Thank you, and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Bye. Move -bye. Bye. along next, and hello, you're on the air. Hey, I thought I'd just join the crowd. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Who is this? Oh, this is Dan. Dan. Dan, the one that does listener of WRMN, all shows long, all long the time. time. Oh, Dan. Hey, thanks for calling. We hey, love no problem. That's that's why we listen, right? That's why that's why you guys listen, right? And you guys should call in once in a while and give us uh, some try to stump stump Laura with your questions about health, fitness, relationships, you name it. And you can ask Laura anything. You can ask me anything and I can tell you the answer or give you well, some I'll advice. stump you. With Dan Karras ran for political office in the last election, what did he run for? Uh, His life. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Dan, tell him. But, five no, just Congress. Yeah. U.S. Congress. U.S. Congress? How'd you do? You got five well, I didn't come in last. Yeah. Yeah, Dan well, also he could, came he, out and helped us too for our uh -huh. community garden day. Uh -huh. and, and he did a great job. Green party. Mm -hmm. Wow. I look forward to meeting you. Stop in the studio sometime. Well, I think the guys there that have seen me enough probably would say, <laughs> don't invite him. He'll probably drop by. No, see, this time slot, Dan, this time slot. It's always hey, this you, time. Yeah. All right, well, well, we'll let those guys in we'll just as long as you're in the studio. Hey, thank you for calling. Thank you for hey. your support. Thank you for listening. Tell sure, all no your problem. friends. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. That's all? You mean no more? Uh -huh. No more calls in the queue? I, I put a block on the phone because they're just ringing off the hook. Don't put a block on the phone. All right, all right. I got, we got to thank Snobhounds. We got to thank Casey Tool. We got to tell everybody that tonight's Elgin's Biggest Loser Week Number 8 weigh-in at the Taylor Y from 5 to 6. The inspiration Motivation at 6. And then brainstorming about Women's Wellness Week. And back to our show. Do you have anything? <laughs> <laughs> Rosie Bell, the, our visitor from Honduras, is sitting here and just she's just taking this all in. Is this your first time in a radio station? This is my first time. And you were excited? Yeah. And nervous? Excited. Are you having fun? Oh, so I'm fun. Your face is yeah. rosy. <laughs> Doing very well. Any, is there anything that you would like to tell our listeners about your effort with the Y in Honduras and things that you want everybody to know? Well, I, I tell to everybody, we want to work with the young people. We need uh, your uh, sponsor or your help to uh, go into, to, to do our work in Honduras. And uh, we believe in, uh, in the young people. I know. The Y does, too. Rick, you got anything you want to leave our listeners with about the Y and your Honduran initiative? Um, are you sending any people over from your Y to do any kind of uh, work with their Y? You know what I mean? Like, what do you call when you do things like that? You know, yes. reciprocate? Yes. Um, one of the things that we want to do uh, eventually is to help uh, the YMCA of Honduras build another youth center. Uh, because we know that for every youth center that's built in Honduras, that keeps 250 young people from migrating from the country. So in addition to the work that we're doing here, serving the community, we're also trying to help the communities back home. Mm -hmm. uh, because many folks uh, are just looking for opportunities uh, in their own country, and it's important work uh, at a very small cost to really make a difference. Mm -hmm. So that's one of our longer-term goals. Well, if you guys get a group together to go down there and visit as ambassadors, think of me. Put me on the roster, and uh, maybe we could do a live remote from the Honduras. I don't think so, but we'll try. We can't do that. I don't think we have cables that go that far. Satellite. No, yes. Oh, maybe. Well, Laura, you could attend if you wore your tiara and your beard. <laughs> 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 
Thank you. I gotta find my TR. I can't for the life of me know what I did with it. But anyway, uh, you know what else I think? I think we need to honor our vets once again and thank each vet that we know for his or her service. Um, tomorrow's Veterans Day, and let's talk a little bit about our tributes to, to the troop show this past Sunday. Did you stick around? Mikey didn't stick around. It was the bomb. We also want to mention honor. FlightChicago.org, mm -hmm. Mary Petinato's organization that flies all the vets on flights to Washington, D.C. for the day, and then SoldiersAngels.org, and that's headed up by Patty Patton. She's the grand niece of General George Patton. Right. Mm -hmm. She sends her organization sends 12,000 care packages monthly to the troops who have been deployed. Started in 2004, and here is, and this is something that Lori Faith Gibson Ayala was all about, how one person can make a difference. Soldiers Angels started in 2004. Patty Patton, one mom, sending packages to her son, one son. One mom, one son. Six years later, 12,000 packages per month. Because her son would say, Jim doesn't get anything, John doesn't get anything, Larry doesn't get anything. And Patty organized a small group, and they started sending packages, and that small group got to be a bigger group. Now it's a national not-for-profit, 12,000 packages per month. I was down, and I told you this, Laura, they opened a new distribution center in San Antonio, and I've done some volunteer work for Soldiers Angels. I'm not a veteran, but I've certainly met thousands of veterans through the years as a newspaper reporter and as an author. And I went to the distribution center in San Antonio for the ribbon cutting. And the distribution center is the size of a jewel store, completely gutted out, and then just shelves from floor to ceiling filled with donated items. So there are a lot of good people out there trying to do good things. And that is a terrific or organization, yes? The mayor expresses his apologies, but he had two meetings, but he was thinking of coming to see uh, you for your anniversary. Mayor Ed Schock. Oh, yeah. Different well, events. But he's thinking of you all the way. Oh, how And he wants nice you to give us a big smooth say... like that. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor. We love you. You know what? We skipped over today. Um, uh, it's November 10th. A friend of mine always sends, you know, what today is, November 10th is. And there are only 51 days remaining until the end of this year. And so that means you've got 51 days to do whatever you want to do to improve your health and fitness before the new year. And I did notice, finally, that Mike Hunziker is wearing his digital step counter, his I pedometer, yes. and he finally put it on <laughs> after I gifted him with it, and he's got it on. Now he's curious enough to know, what, to see what kind of uh, miles and totals you're doing for the day. Now you understand. What I it. understand. Thank you, honey. I'm up to 3,500 today, too. That's great. Yeah. And every day, you're going to do more and more, and then you're going to look at it and go, I only did this many today, and then the next day, you're going to want to do more. If you say so. If everyone <laughs> be like so. Mike and get started right now so that you'll sail right through those holidays without gaining any weight and on into the new year, ready for any challenges that may arise. I have so much more to tell you about today. Here's one for Jeff. Where did he go? He's hanging out right behind you. Don't, hey, don't, be, reading, don't be reading this no, here. Okay. It was on this day that after Newt Rockney delivered his uh, win, win one for, for the, the Gipper, Gipper halftime speech to the, the Irish players, yeah. that Notre Dame upset Army what? Army what? Well, we have to have the score? Or? Yeah. You know In those days, stuff. probably 13 to 6. 12 to 6. Oh. Very good. Oh. Rockney's speech the day before he died, George Gipp asked me to wait until the situation seemed hopeless, then ask a Notre Dame team to go out and beat Army for him. This is the day, and you are the team. Win one for the Gipper. Oh. It's a delightful movie. Have you seen that movie? It's yes. Pat O'Brien as Canute, as we would say, and, Canute? and Ronald Reagan is the Gipper. I got to go out there and score a touchdown, but I'm injured and I can't do it. But it's a, it's a fine movie. Ronald Reagan's not very prominent as George E. Rollins and those in the movie. He's just kind of a, uh, a figurehead, but it's, it's cute. I got another uh, veteran thing. Yes. 1954, U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower dedicates the USMC War Memorial. Iwo Jima Memorial at Arlington National oh, well, Cemetery. It's in honor of Gordon Snow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In honor That's of right. Gordon. And Dwight Eisenhower would do that by, I'm President Dwight Eisenhower, and I want to dedicate Iwo Jima, this particular U.S. You know, it sounds a little bit like evil in this day. And do you know who was born on this day, uh, 1925? Uh, uh, Gordon Snow, you know, August 25th and 25th. Oh. Gordon's August, he is 85 this year. No, tell us what field it's in, and Laurie will... Come. Movies. Movies. Actor, Welsh actor. Oh, Welsh actor. I'm really good. Richard Button. Uh, yes, that's yeah. it. That's it. It is, Smith. <laughs> I've come to marry you. Yes. All right.
Oh, should I? Five minutes this? left. We don't okay. have that much material. No, I mean, yeah, I have yeah. a lot of material, oh, and I got another hour's worth of material. Uh, Lord, we are sense. collecting donations for Patricia Keeney of Keeney's Sporting Goods and PK's Antiques. Patricia is very ill and will be in the hospital recovering for quite some time. What happened? She's, oh, she has an ailment, but it's a wonderful story in the way that all of the city of Elgin is, is keeping her shop open, which is right across the street, mm -hmm. Downtown Neighborhood Association helping out all the folks of Elgin, getting great you press on here. WBBM, all of the yeah, Chicago uh, stations, yeah. Daily Herald and Courier News. Well loved, that's one of the oldest uh, institutions around. And her. she's got the best well, jewelry. The yeah. I've been to several parties at, 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 that she's oh, been gosh, at, yeah. and I mean, that one's you got must some never jewelry. Want to leave her no, I want, to, I want to steal some of her jewelry. I think Lori, what did you see her in the hospital? Yeah, um, I've been hanging out with Pat. She's a lot of fun to hang out with, as many people know. Um, but yeah, she's over at St. Joe's Hospital, and, and they got her in a really oh, nice okay. room. That new bed tower is pretty sweet over there, actually. Yeah. Can you give a room for her? Yes, it's a very nice room. Um, but she's going to be there a little while. They're, they're putting her back together, I like to put it. They, they fix one problem at a time. But like many small business owners, um, Pat was not feeling so well, but she's the only one that works at the store now. You know, she had to cut employees that helps her uh -huh. and everything else to, to get by, especially with the, the economy the way it is and stuff. Um, so uh, quite a few of us in October started noticing that she wasn't looking quite well, and, uh -huh. you know, and trying to push her to go to the doctor and things like that. She's also a caregiver for her mom, who's, I believe, 90 this year. Yes, and she's uh, the Kathy, mother earth of downtown Elgin. Yeah, uh -huh. so I mean, Kinney's has been Lover. there since 1883. Wow. Uh, and there's a lot of history in there, and the basement is fantastic for antiques and uniques that we call them. Uh, actually, a girlfriend of mine was there this, the, right around lunch. She stopped in after a jog and said, I'm just going to look downstairs so I can buy something. I like vintage purses. I'll just I'll help out, whatever oh, I can do. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh, no, you'll love it. But she went down there, and we're kind of joking around looking at the, the old cookbooks, and she pulls up this reunion brochure, and it had a dedication from her father in 1979 to his little girl, and her dad died in 1990, so she's wow. never seen this in Elgin High School. Wow. And it was, like, meant to be. You were meant to come into Keeney's and go in the basement and find that. Wow. And just oh to God. see her face when there. she found that. It was beautiful. And, you know, of course she had to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's great, too. We have two more phone calls? Yes, we do. Uh, one, uh... We'll go to this one. It's very, very special listener. Okay. Amos, are you there? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Amos, how are you? Hi, Laura. Happy Veterans Hi. Day, pal. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We think of you yeah. all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> we do. If you, okay. can, if you can make it up the stairs, we'd have you on again. Yeah, 21 steps, huh? I know. We love yeah. you, Amos. We got two okay, minutes Laura. left and another phone call. I love you. Take care, and thank you for calling. Love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Uh, Amos, one who uh, painted the airplane. Yes, huh? Amos is famous for the Snow White series and nose art on the bombers in World War II. 94-year-old World War II veteran. Laura's l oldest listener, I believe. Yes. You're up next, Laura Dan Jones Show. Well, it's just Steve again real quick. I wanted to say that I got those neat bar glasses at my bar from Keeney's for, uh, GK Antiques down in the basement. And uh, so anybody out there that was listening in, I think it's a really touching thing how the downtown's coming together to help Pat out. We're going to all so, race over there. We got, you bet. We got like two more minutes. I got a dash. Okay, thank you for bye. calling. Bye. I got to thank, uh, thank everyone uh, for being with us today. My gang, Jeff, Mike, Julie. Uh, everybody, oh my God, Lori Faith Gibson, Rick Rigner, Rosabel Martinez, all the way from Honduras, George, Mike. Um, next week, we're going to do a special on bullying you won't want to miss. Diana Ortega Arith, Executive Director of Elgin Youth Academy, and John, a whole bunch of people are going to be here. You know what? Thanks again, Casey, for making this show possible. Um, this is the Laura Dion Jones Show. I am Laura Dion Jones. Let's work to hard, end, hard to end all wars and semper boy, semper fi boys. Carry on. I can't even talk. Thanks for coming. Bye. Very nice. Nice. I don't think I can do the words of your song. That's great. Right? <laughs>